to Northway. Got the blues today, but not in a bad way. The electric blues. The so-called electric blue livery was this blue specifically reserved for the AC electric locos of the West Coast Main Line. Now we've got three manifestations of the electric blue here today. We're looking at a Backman model there of AL5 number E3058. We've also got one that I painted myself. You can watch how I did that in a video entitled Class 86 Rarities. But the paint that I used was Precision Paints Electric Blue. And the third one is this Hornby Class 86, number 86259 and named Les Ross. Well the electric blue livery was roughly late 50s until mid 60s and you can see all three locomotives that we've got today carry this logo this logo is the ferret and dartboard, which was the late British Railways crest, as it's called. After 1965, British Railways decided to change their image a bit. Well, we had, we had 1955 the modernisation plan, which wasn't very well thought out, if we're being brutally honest. Nothing really went according to plan with the modernisation plan. Although we did electrify the West Coast Main Line, which was one good thing. So in 1965 we had an overhaul of the branding and along came the arrows symbol. This symbol is now widely used, is it not? Even on road signs to denote where the railway station might be. Well, now let's look at these blues. In fact, I'll move them a bit closer together, hand of God. I think they're supposed to be the same colour, but they're not, are they? The Hornby colour on the right is a lot brighter. The Phoenix Paints one on the left is a little bit on the dull side. The only one which looks, to my view, accurate is the Backman colour in the middle. Well, you might have noticed also that Les Ross has got a yellow warning panel. Well, the yellow warning panels became fashionable about 1964, 1965. So the very first Class 86s, this one I've built the model of, well, updated the model of, is E3168. That is the livery in which it was built. But it, that didn't last very long. After a few months it would have received a yellow warning panel.
And Les Ross wouldn't have had a name. This livery that we can see, 86259, here, is actually a 21st century livery. It was retrospectively painted back into the old electric blue with white cab roofs and yellow warning panel. So what coaching stock? Obviously Mark 1's, obviously maroon, stretch a point and use some blue-grey, um, and maybe let's say there might have been some Crimson Cream Mark 1's still around that had not been painted in 1960. Shall we do that? Well, you know what? It's my railway. I'm going to do it anyway. 